to go. Have you broken COVID rules? No, I haven't. So what is that photograph that has, a lot of people will have seen, has been on the front pages, it's uh, took, taken last year, end of April, begin, beginning of May. Just, just explain what that was. Happily. I was in a constituency office just days before the election. We were very busy. We were working in the office. Um, and we stopped for something to eat, and then we carried on working. That is the long, the short of it. No party, no breach of the rules, and absolutely no comparison with the Prime Minister. And, but there um, were rules in place. You, this was step two uh, guidelines at the time. No person may participate in a gathering in the step two area which consists of two or more people and takes place indoors unless it's reasonably necessary for work pur purposes. We were in the office, the constituency office. It was days before the election. We were very busy. We were working. Um, at some point, some food turned up. We stopped. We had our food, and then we carried on working. That is not a breach of the rules. It's not a party, and it is no comparison to the Prime Minister. Drinking and the fact a beer, but drinking a beer, is that reasonably necessary for work purposes? We'd, we'd stopped to eat a takeaway whilst we were working in the office, and then we carried on. This was, but, just but to put it in context, this was about... Uh, a few days before the May elections. We were really busy. We were, we'd been at it all day on Zoom calls. Uh, we were doing members' calls from that very office. We stopped because food arrived, the, um, the, and then we carried on. There were rules in place, and the guidance, the workplace guidance, that was in place at the time. Participants should physically attend meetings only where reasonably necessary. There should not be any sharing of food and drink by staff who do not share a household. Well, Sophie, uh, uh, you, Trying to persuade anybody that stopping to have some food when you're in the office all day working um, is a breach of the rules is just not going to wash. And it shows just how far the Conservatives are sinking, that they're trying to pretend there's some sort of comparison between this and the industrial scale parting that the Prime Minister's been but up to. But that photograph of the Prime Minister on the terrace at Downing Street, Dominic Cummings is there, the cheese and wine photograph. Why is that any different? That is an office. We, did, we can't hear what they were saying. They say it was a meeting. You say that was a meeting. Why is that any different? Well, people will look at the photos and make their own minds up. But I think that uh, there is simply no but comparison. That, that is my point. Those 